Happy May 4th. Be with you. Oh. I was gonna say that next. Sorry. May the 4th be with you. It is Star Wars Day. Yeah. So, big surprise of where we're going. <laughs> We're headed into Hollywood Studios. Yes. I have a Yoda Disney bound on. What do you guys think? Oh, I didn't even notice. Really? Yeah. I have your shirt on. That's, that and is, hey. Like, what? That is my shirt. And then um, I asked Jen, I was like, does this necklace look like a lightsaber? And she was like, or Yoda's walking stick. I was like, oh. Jen has the Togan big Star Wars fan in the family. Yes. And actually, I think you must have gotten this from Disney Store. Do you want to wear it? No. Okay. It um, says me the point. I have a Darth Vader bound on. Yeah. I didn't plan it. I it's just wore so this shirt sunny. to work. I have an eye issue going on. That's why I've been wearing my glasses. Yeah. So, tonight we're going to do all things Star Wars. Yeah. I wonder if we're going to meet characters I've never met before. Because I haven't met all of them. And there's actually merchandise and stuff. Like, we missed all the shows during the day. Um, okay. But, yeah. It's alright. We'll just see what there is to do. Maybe there'll be a treat or two. Ooh. If there's anything Star Wars y, doesn't look like it. I see a carrot cake cookie though. Yeah, we did find out that the carrot cake cookie is here at the Trolley Car Cafe. I don't see any fancy frappuccinos or nothing. Slacking. Peter missed out on it the other day, so. I'm having trouble finding if there's any treats. I actually don't know if there was one. I know. Actually, I thought I saw some because someone got some for free. What? That I saw on their story. I see Stormtroopers. This song, this song always reminds me of the Parent Trap. Stormtroopers. Ooh. Just doing our job. Thank you. We appreciate that. You're welcome, citizen. Thank you. Proceed with Hollow Scan. Move along. Okay, we found one fancy treat so far. The lightsaber churro. See it? It has a fancy Can base on it. One? Sure, why not? Alrighty. We got our treat. It's a little skimpy on the sprinkles, if you ask me. Take a bite. Is it gonna be sour? I feel like they're gonna be like sour patch kid. No? Just normal. Just straight up normal. You didn't get chocolate sauce. Should we have? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I will say that that is one thing that like night and day is Disneyland churros versus Disney World churros. Why don't they have the same ingredients? I think they do, I just think they're prepared differently. And you can tell because those ones were like in the special box, special sprinkles. They had red, blue, and then plain. And I think the plain ones were the freshest and they were right above the heat lamp. Whereas we got the blue which were all the way in the bottom so they were nowhere near the heat. I've so. had a non like Star Wars churro and it still like still doesn't hold up to Disneyland. I don't know, but I will say Disney World's premium bars are a million times better than Disneyland's that because Disneyland's for some reason are like flash frozen. So you get them and all of a sudden they're rock hard. They're rock hard and you get them. 30 seconds later they're water. Yeah. I got those. But away. these usually if you want a churro at Disney World, get the chocolate sauce because it's like you need something to dip it with. So these are the times for the theater. I think it's just like a preview type thing. Let's do it. Meet BB-8, Chewbacca, and Kylo Ren. Not bad times. Maybe we'll do BB-8 in the theater. Yeah. I had no idea this stuff was here. Oh my god, it goes all the way back there too. Whoa, before they knew it. Oh, I have never... Confession, it's the first time I've ever been in this building. Even back when it was, uh, this was what, the old uh, animation where you would learn how to draw characters? 
Yeah, and in this building. And there was always well, in like this building, in this side. Yeah. And I never did that before. So, pretty pumped. It's got some eight good AC going on. So, we're going to get our Instagram post going and polish off the popcorn. And then we, we, might need a, we might need a cold pop later after all that popcorn. Ooh. Does one of them still here have um, a limited refill? No, that's Epcot. Mm -mm. Oh, we but we don't have a cup though. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yes, it's the back lot. We'll go there. And they might have treats there. <gasps> so excited! Ooh, look at this. So we just left the theater. How did you, what'd you think? It was cool. It was like a 10 minute it was video? Like I didn't know a lot about the cartoons and the animation and stuff. You know what it was? It was like an overview 10 minute film of like everything they have going on right now and what they've got coming in the future. You get to see a couple shots of Gail's Yeah, like cool. inside buildings. Yeah. It's just, it's a, I think, I don't think people, unless you're a huge Star Wars fan, realize like how big the Star Wars universe is. Like in all of its different so forms, like, like literally like published <laughs> books, like novels, comics. Um, Video games, movies, or even like books that just like explain every single weapon. Yeah, there's literally yeah. it's infinite. And it's crazy. Yeah. Some pod racers. This is one of those things where like it's not one of those things Sarah doesn't know as much as I do because she's not gonna geek out as much. But this is amazing. I do miss when this was like a a studio, but I love that they put this here because this is like an amazing movies. I used to love the N64 video game. Of the pod racers, it was just classic. So this is where we meet Chewbacca, 30 minutes. And this is Kylo Ren's section. There's more stuff up there. They're actually, they have a, a Star Wars like dessert party for the fireworks every night. So that's in here, I guess. We're gonna make our way to BB-8. I feel like if I wanted to do a dessert party, this one is cool. It's inside. Which is yeah. Nice. And then you go outside for special viewing. Eighty dollars, right? Uh, seventy-five. Yeah, they're all. Oh, he's so cool. He's big. Look at this. This is uh, Chewbacca's toothpick. <laughs> we only used it once in the movie. It was an outside. <laughs> that was funny. I do miss the right here that used to be the Oscars, right? But I do love it, guys. Don't get me wrong. I love all this. We just really, we wish that this was like an addition. We wish it didn't take it away. They like moved all that stuff somewhere else. This is gone. Yeah. This is gone. Yeah. Like the like the busts too. Like all the Hall of Fame. I burned myself. Did you burn yourself or did I burn myself? I burned myself. On Walt or Oprah? On Walt. Fairly certain. <laughs> they go with Oprah. We've been here more recently, but like we have never really shown much of it. It's a lot of cool stuff. It's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, magic bands. <laughs> magic bands. iPhone cases. Come look at these shirts. These ones are pass holders. These are even Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge. Oh, wait, no. There used to be oh, the pass holders. No, it does say Galaxy's Edge. Oh, but these aren't pass holders. These aren't pass holders. There used to be Galaxy's Edge pass holders. Cool. All this. A little hunk of shit. Han Solo. I love this actress. This is like the fanciest Disney Mount clothes you'll ever see. Or these, yeah, these are the pass holder ones. Galaxy's Edge opening. A landing 2019. Well, cool. then over here there's some books and then the wine from Skywalker. from Skywalker Vineyards. You could get these name tags done with your name. But personalized. We're cool and we have ourselves and we got Jenna one back when it was Star Wars weekends when you used to, used to have to use the parking lot by <laughs> Tower. There. there would be a tent yeah. full of all this stuff in the I could throw some throwback photos in here now. Okay, then over here there's some figurines. They're like very particular about like what scale they are. One six scale. But I'm sure people really collect these. More. Toys, lightsabers, and helmets. Okay. Our Star Tours Fastness is ending soon, so we got, we got a blast. Yeah. Another thing was that there was like no Star Tours Fast Passes, but I like caught one at like the very last second, so we can't miss it. 
Ooh, Galactic Nights, the 27th. We'll be in Chicago. We'll put a link up right now of, uh, of our, when we left of our, last Yeah, time. at Christmas time. But yeah, we're gonna be in Chicago then. And then I did just see that there's like, I guess you could do a Star Wars guided tour here. Yeah. This is OG Star Wars Hollywood Studios. Tattooing trainers. So you can build your own lightsaber over here. You can build a droid over there. And get your I Was the Rebel Spy shirt in there if you ever are so lucky, which neither of us have been. Well, I've never been the Rebel Spy, I've never been that guy. Perfect. This photo op is right across from Star Tours. We're gonna go see if there's anything by Galaxy's Edge first. Galaxy's Edge first? Okay. Oh, are you going to the pop? I was going to the pop. <laughs> the famous Galaxy's Edge cranes. I want to point two things out. Okay. One, I don't think you've ever been on Grand Avenue at night with the lights on. It looks oh. really nice. And let me know down below if you know when they put those trees in, because they for sure were not those there before. Yeah. All those trees on top of the... Berm? Yeah. Galaxy's Edge 2019. And we realized that it'll be the 30th anniversary, so I wonder, do they say summer? It, it just say. says 2019. Disney knows better to not say a, a season because they're gonna push back right. six times. But that's tough because May 1st of next year is the 30th anniversary. It would be coming in with a clutch. But if you, anybody remembers when they were building new fan ceiling, they actually set seasons for that and they just kept pushing it back and back and yeah. back. And then finally they was just like, Opening up 2015, <laughs> like, that's it, no, it's no season, it's just, that's when it's open. Survey marker I've never seen before, in Tobacco Express. Peter just called pop soda, is that why you have that face on? I was like, if we spend the next Knock 20 minutes, like, if we spend the next 20 minutes here drinking soda, and I was just like. <laughs> he totally glitched. Now this, all oh, this is old studio. Yeah, it's so nice in here. We're pretty certain that they always have Star Wars desserts in here. Yeah, they have a Kylo Ren cupcake. And they do in the morning have Darth Vader Mickey waffles. They have waffles right now for chicken and waffles, but Darth Vader. Ah! Okay, this is what I was talking about. It's the only, I think, I think maybe Electric Umbrella at Epcot has it too, but you fill your own. So, we can sit here for an hour and fill this up 20 times. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that was you. And do you want to sit right there? Can we sit right here at the table? Sure. And then we're right across from it. Right across from the pop. Okay, so so we decided to get the Darth Vader chicken and waffles. Dark side chicken. Dark side chicken and waffles. We kind of thought that we would like get a different treat or something, but there wasn't there wasn't much, so we decided to go with this. There wasn't this, but they have two different, they have a BB-8 and a... Uh, um, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, how people are here all the time. Now, it's crazy to think that we could have, like, cult classic comments or pop culture comments, but, um... It's been a long time since I had some fresh pocket nuts. That's all I gotta say about that. Baby, you gotta keep eating. Or else I'm gonna eat it all. Make sure that you have a piece of chicken. So that's what you do. They're closing. And they just came around. Whoa. Chocolate, I almost just... Chocolate mousse. Mm. This is so good. I'm so happy right now. Hollywood Studios gonna mix up the paint. Hollywood. She's, she's feeling herself right now. She's got a... <laughs> that Those used to spin. <laughs> <laughs> She's on a sugar high in a, in a classic Hollywood so Studios. Full. We ate dinner. She, we weren't, yeah, we weren't even hungry, but like the chicken and waffles is a unique thing. We don't get it ever. We got a churro. We got chicken. We got waffles. We got pops. And we got the free chocolate mousse. Okay, there's just like I'm having a little moment of overwhelmingness right now. I hear the jazzy music from over here, but illuminations you can see going off over there. And they got the movie legacy show. We're at studios on a Friday and we're not in Pasadena. 
Yeah, we're not at Fantasmic Fridays, but this lake is bumping right now. It's like sensory overload. Yeah, there's definitely sensory overload going on right now. Oh man, look how close we are. Nobody's over here. So we're saving the galaxy again? Except for Miss Sugar High herself. <laughs> Star Wars, a galactic spectacular. 1977, a triumphant year in screen history. On May 25th, at the world-famous Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California, Star Wars premiered, and across generations, as the saga continues to transport audiences with the words... A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Crowd exodus. Alrighty, friends. So we made it home. Actually, we ran to um, Walmart for some stuff, and then Peter went on a run. So it's just me and Eve right now. Um, we're just kind of hanging out. I'm deciding. I was thinking maybe I would start editing, um, but maybe I'll show you some playtime with Eve instead. Oh. Yes, may I help you? You're so cute. <laughs> the ultimate side eye. Also, for anybody who follows our Instagram story, I said I bet I could eat the whole box of Thin Mints, and I didn't do it last night, but in 24 hours, there's only three cookies left, and I'm pretty certain Peter only had like a handful of them but what I told him is everybody always sends us coffee grounds and I don't drink coffee so clearly Chelsea's mom was like cookies for Sarah coffee for Peter but I mean that coffee is his thing so like cookies are my thing alrighty well Peter's back he's in the shower it is past 1 a.m. so we're just gonna sign off here call it a day um, we're excited for the weekend. We have a concert on Sunday. We're not really sure exactly what we're gonna what we're going to do yet tomorrow, but um, we're excited to kind of have a low key um, but fun weekend. So good night, and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.